Hi, my name is Dale. I'm 14 years old. Today I'm going to be answering the unanswerable. So I went and I found the most philosophical questions I could on the internet. And today I'm going to be answering those from my point of view. So the first question is, does fate exist? Now, fate, I think fate works in, in, in its own mysterious way. Everything works in, in a chronological fashion to achieve an end result. Let's say I was at school, okay? And I started having a bad day. I forgot to do my homework, all right? And that, that maybe made me uh, mad at myself, you know? So, man, I, I'm, I'm really mad right now. I didn't do my homework. And then at lunch, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't have a good lunch. Didn't, didn't, it didn't taste good, okay? I go home, I'm really frustrated. My mom yells at me, okay, next day. I'm like, dude, I'm so done with this. I'm, I'm still not having a good time, you know? I decide to play some video games, okay? And, and I just get lost in there, okay? I play for five hours, which is ridiculous, right? Five hours of video games. So at the end of this five hours, I'm feeling pretty disgusting. I'm not even happier because playing video games for that long, it's not a good experience. I can tell you that. So after this five hour video game session, I'm thinking, what? Why did I do that? Did I think that was going to help? So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for a walk. Let's say on this walk, I meet a new friend. And then boom, I have a friend, like a new friend that I can talk to. Like, see how all these events led to different things? And that is fate. To, so to answer that, 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 that question in a word, I would say yes, I do believe in fate. Now the next question is, does life need to have a goal to be lived? And I think yes, 100%. If you're not living without a goal, then you are not really living. You're just being alive, you know? Living life is, is working towards stuff and, and getting knocked down and getting back up again and doing whatever it takes to get to reach your goal, you know? So life without that is is just get up, eat breakfast, eat lunch, eat dinner, sleep, and nothing happens, you know? So that's my take. It's yes, you need to have goals to really live your life. The next question is something that's very relevant during our time, and it's will racism ever cease to exist? And I think when when there's something bigger to deal with other than human struggles, like like let's say there's a planetary invasion, I think then racism will end. And it's gonna be actual racism, like aliens and humans and stuff, you know? But racism is just gonna get smaller and smaller. But I don't think it'll ever cease to exist. I think the population of the world and of the United States or whatever, that population that is racist is going to just get smaller. But it's never going to go completely away. I don't think. It might take a really long time. But there's always going to be someone who teaches their kid to be racist. And, and honestly, these Gen Z and, and like the next generation... I don't think that we're growing up to be that racist. I mean, obviously there's parts of the world and parts of our country that are racist, but the majority of us, compared to like the old people in the United States, they can be pretty racist because they were there like it was normal, you know? But for young people, young people are gonna pave the path of no racism. But then in other countries, like there's got they got like terrorism going on against other races and, and religions. So yeah, it's just gonna take an alien invasion to stop racism. Is there a perfect life? Now, 
there is no such thing as perfect. And there is a thing as perfect life, though. There is such a thing as perfect life. A perfect life is a life where you, the person, are perfectly happy with your life. That's the perfect life. I think there are pros and cons to every life. For example, let's compare me to a prince of England my same age, okay? He has infinite money. I do not have infinite money. His parents are the king and queen. My parents are not the king and queen, okay? But, I know for a fact I get to see my parents every single day. I don't know if he would see his parents every day, seriously. If your parents are the king and queen, I doubt you would see them every single day. Like, I'm sure they have to go traveling and stuff without you. But then again, I don't know. But there are lots of negatives in life, like his life, because think about it. He, he can never go to, like, the fair, you know, and just be a normal kid. He can never go to the park and just be a normal kid. He has to go in the park inside the palace, which it's not what the real experience is like, you know? So, before you think like, oh man, it would be so great to be the Prince of England, like, think about it, you'd, you'd never get to go to the normal park ever in your life. Whereas I can do that, but I, then again, I don't have infinite money. But these are two very privileged people, like, I'm privileged and the Prince of England is very privileged. Let's compare me to uh, some kid living in a, in a third world country. Okay, I get fed every single meal and, and I don't ever have to worry where my next meal is coming from. Whereas him, he never knows where, how he's going to eat, if he's going to eat, period. You know, is there going to be some sort of civil war in his country? Like, I don't think there's going to be a civil war in, in my country anytime soon. But, but then again, I'm not saying my life is harder than his, which is clearly not. But I'm not saying my life is better than his. Like, he could be perfectly happy. You know, he could have a good number of friends that actually believe and trust in him. Whereas with me, like, I don't even know which of my friends are gonna be fake. You know, if you understand, like, it's a different kind of life. But definitely, I'm more privileged. You know? And he would definitely want my. I. I well, I can't say that, but I think he would want my life if he had the chance. If he could live as a white boy in America, in California, like, I think he would definitely take that. But that's just, that's what I think. So, do knowledge and understanding make you content and happy as a person? Yes. Me making this video, discussing my, my thoughts on these philosophical questions, is making me feel more content and anyone watching this video you thinking about these things is making you more full as a person it's making you think about all aspects of life does an ideal government exist no an ideal government does not exist a republic democracy is probably the closest we'll get but, you know, ideal government does not exist. Will, okay. Will a curb on buying guns and arms reduce the number of shooting sprees in the world? I think it would. But it would also limit the rights of people who aren't going to go on shooting sprees. Like, I think definitely, if those guns are not ma being made available to the general public, public, I think shootings would go down a little bit. But then again, people who really, really want to buy the guns for their own thing, you know, not shooting a bunch of people, they can't have them. And it's just, like, you can never have both, you know? It's, it's tricky. It's a slippery slope. I think that's all the deep philosophical questions I'm going to cover for today. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And maybe someday I'll look back on this video and think, huh, my opinions have changed. But I don't know. 
So, that's all for today, fellow tacticians. I'll see all my fellow tacticians in the next YouTube video. Whatever that may be, stay tuned to the channel. And stay safe, y'all.